This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can install fonts for Procreate for the iPad. So to get us started here, the first thing you want to do is close out of Procreate. So let's double tap this and get rid of that. What we want to do is open up uh, the App Store. So let's come over here to the App Store. And in the App Store, we are looking for an app called iFont. So I'm going to search for it here. I'm going to write I-F-O, and it should come up right at the top of the list there, iFont. Tap on that. And this is the app we're looking for right here to the top right. Let me tap on this iFont find install any font. Go ahead and install this app. And once you have that app installed, you don't have to open it. Just go ahead and install it. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now that I have iFont installed, I'm going to go looking for a font to download and install. I like to use fontsquirrel.com for fonts because all of the fonts on this website are free for personal use and commercial use. But you can use whatever site you'd like. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to look for a font to install. I think I will install uh, Chunk 5 down here. And where it says download OTF, I'm going to go ahead and press that little purple button right there. Do you want to download chunk5.zip? Yes, I do. Tap on download. And right up here in the top right corner, you should notice this little blue arrow. I'm going to tap on that. And where it says Chunk 5, I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And it's going to open up the zip folder, which is right here, chunk5.zip. So let me tap on that zip folder, and it's going to create an actual folder from it. Once it's finished, you can tap on that folder, Chunk 5, and you'll see the different font files here. Each .otf or .ttf file is its own variation of the font. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to install one of them. I'm going to tap on Chunk 5 Regular. And right at the top right corner, I'm going to click on this little blue arrow. And I'm going to choose to open this with iFont. So let me tap on the iFont app. And once you have it opened in iFont, if you look over here on the left-hand side of your screen towards the middle, you'll see the font name, Chunk 5 Regular, with the blue button next to it that says Install. So if let's tap on that button that says Install. Tap on Allow. Close. And now the profile has been installed on the iPad. So what we could do now is close out of iFont. Let's close out of that. Let's close out of that. Close out of that. What we want to do now is go back to Settings. So I'm going to tap on Settings. And in the Settings, I'm looking for Profiles down here. And in the Profiles section, you should see Chunk 5 Regular. So let me tap on that. And right at the top right corner, you see the little blue text that says Install. Tap on that. Enter your passcode. The profile is not signed, so let's go ahead and tap on Install, the top right corner. Install. And done. And there we go. As you can see, it has been installed. So let me close out of Settings now. Let's go back to Procreate and see if the font is there, because it should be there. So let's create a new document here. Screen size. And I'm going to go ahead and add some text. And for the font, let me select all of it. I'm looking for chunk 5. Right there. There it is. And done. And there you go. That is how you can install fonts in Procreate for the iPad. And the good thing about doing this is that font is now installed for use across your iPad, meaning it'll work in other applications like Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo or anything else that you, that you do in your iPad that you use to generate text. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.